Imagine you're stranded out in the woods in some kind of emergency survival situation. You're not sure how long you're gonna be out there and you're running low on drinking water. Well, obviously, if you're by a water source like a river or a creek, or if it's raining, well, then I guess you're all set. But if it's just a hot summer day like today and you're nowhere near a fresh water source, there's a super simple and clever way to get a fair amount of fresh, clean drinking water as long as you have access to a simple plastic bag, such as a garbage bag. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the incredibly easy way to make that happen. I'm using a transparent garbage bag for the purpose of this demonstration. All we need to do is find a tree with some branches that we can reach. I'm just gonna sort of bundle a few of them together to get them all bunched up tightly and then wrap this clear garbage bag around them. Basically get as many bits of branch as you can in there with lots of good green leaves. Then I'll cinch the garbage bag as tight as I can get it. And if your bag doesn't have any of these incorporated, integrated tie things, just tie that opening up any which way you can. And over the next several hours, we're gonna notice a lot of moisture accumulating on the inside of that bag. And as more and more moisture accumulates, it's gonna start running down to the bottom lowest part of that bag. And the reason this happens, and the reason this whole thing works is because of something called transpiration. As trees draw moisture up out of the soil and bring it up to all of their branches and limbs, and yeah, leaves, ultimately any excess moisture is released through those leaves through a process called transpiration. Think of it as the way that a tree sweats. Trees do this for a couple of reasons, including drawing the nutrients they need further up the tree and into the leaves, as well as a mechanism for cooling on a pretty hot day like today, which is definitely beneficial if we're trying to collect water from those leaves. Now I'm gonna leave this bag on these tree branches here all day long, overnight, and I'll come back in the morning and that's when I'll assess how much water I've collected and then collect it. And if you have a few garbage bags, you can set up a few of these things and just increase your emergency survival water production that much more. And when I go to collect that water, I'm just going to poke a little hole at the very bottom point of that bag where that water has been collecting and drain it into some kind of a container. But even though I poked a hole in it, the bag is not ruined. I can just sort of tie it off and seal that hole up that I just created and let it keep collecting. Though I will mention that it's a good idea to move the bag to a different set of branches, maybe each day, because if you keep that bundle of branches and leaves wrapped in that plastic bag for too long, you are gonna end up killing all those leaves because they do need to breathe and the extreme heat from being in a plastic bag will ultimately kill them. Anyway, I always thought the transpiration bag was an especially cool method for wilderness survival because a plastic garbage bag weighs practically nothing and can be scrunched and folded in such a way that it takes up practically no room in a backpack. If I'm venturing out into the wilderness, it costs me nothing in weight or space to keep one of these with me just in case. One more thing I'll mention, even though that water is gonna be considered drinkable and fresh, it still may not be the prettiest looking or the best tasting water you've ever seen because it is seeping out of a tree. So if you've got the ability, if you've got the means, it's probably a good idea to run that water through a little filter before actually drinking it. But I guess if you're out there dying of dehydration, you probably won't be quite as concerned with that sort of thing. So that's about it for now. I hope you found this interesting. And if you did, click like and subscribe and stay up to date with all our latest stuff. Thanks for watching. And until next time, I'm John, and this is Great Lakes Country.